Hello, welcome to another episode of Moto Maverick USA. I've been looking for some panniers to go on the Tiger for quite a while now, but I didn't think that I wanted hard panniers. After doing some research, I settled on these GV Canyons. I ordered them a while back, but I haven't had a chance to put them on yet. And I finally have a chance to now, so I figured I'd record the process and kind of tell you what I think about the bags. So, let's get right into it. All right, so here's everything that comes in the mounting kit. You've got your left and right support brackets and the conjoining under bracket, uh, which is this long pole here. And then you've got some spacers and some various uh, hardware. This is the GV PLR 6409 kit made for the Triumph Tiger 800, which is what I have. So I just kind of took a look at all the hardware and where the mounting points are on the motorcycle and it should be pretty straightforward. Famous last words, right? There's a specialty wrench that comes with it. Right here. Uh, this weird triangular thing for the um, support screws here. Uh, but you will need a five millimeter Allen and a 13 millimeter wrench. I figured I'd start on the exhaust side. Uh, might be a little more complicated. That'll make the other side a piece of cake. The first thing you need to do is remove these two placeholder bolts. And to do that, you need to get to a nut that's on the back side of the seat. So let's remove the seat. You will need a 12 millimeter wrench to hold the nut on the back side. And on the inside, there's no nut, so you just remove the bolt. Next, you'll need to take one of these spacers and place your bolt inside the top that way so that the clamp will work on the mounting bracket. Also on this side, you go through We'll put one of the nuts on the back side. Your 13 millimeter wrench. And tighten. So because of the way this spacer is in here, you will need an actual Allen to reach all the way in there. And then you will tighten your bolt on the back. And then you'll put one of your caps on the back side of this. And then do the same thing over here. I don't know if it matters, but I'm going to put the gap where the screw goes on the bottom. There's no nut on the back side of this one. It just screws directly into the bike. Get it good and tight. All right, now I got both these brackets in. So the next one might prove to be a bit tricky. There is a C-clamp on the bottom of this pin that holds on the passenger peg that you need to pry out. Just use a flat bellied screwdriver, you can get in there. That's the pin underneath there. Just gotta pry it out, just a C-clip. Then you pull out your in here. There we go. That's all there is to that. For this next part, you need the right side bracket, one of your screws, two big flat washers, a small washer, a small nut, and the nylock nut. Screw, then, then small flat washer. You're gonna go screw through the original bracket. And you gotta line up. There we go. Get a little leverage on here. All right, so that goes all the way through there. Then you need one of the large flat washers and your small nut just to hold this in place. That'll be your 13.
You want that small nut just tight enough to hold this in place. Then you get your other big flat washer underneath the small nut. Then your bracket and your light nylock nut. Now, you need to hold this when you tighten the nylock or else your small nut holding the foot plug in place will come loose. You want this one to be pretty tight. There we go. All right, so that still moves. Next, you need your right bracket piece and your specialty tool that fits right in here. And they have these little clips here that just fit into the brackets. And you just turn and lock it in place. And it clicks when it's in there. So you just have to line up your bracket here and lock it in place. Click. And now it's on there. You just have these same brackets that you have down here with this tool. You just click it in place. There we go. Let's do the other side. The left side. We are going to remove these placeholder bolts again. 12 millimeter on the back and 13 millimeter on the front. And again, this one does not have a nut on the back of it. Spacer and screw. I'm gonna go ahead and replace our metal bracket here as well. There you go. I'm get another wrench here and force it around a little bit more. Make it good and tight. And then on this one we have our nut that we'll need. Ignore the dogs. There we go. And cover for the nut. And again here we need to pry off this C-clamp. Pull out our bracket. There we go. And then again, we have our bracket, small washer, small nut, two large flat washers, and the nylock nut. Bolt, small washer. There we go. Large flat. Again, you want this just tight enough that it applies some pressure to the foot peg. A little more than that. There we go. Then another large washer. And your bracket. And nylock. And again, you want to hold this as you put your nylock on. That's all done. Now you get your left bracket with your specialty tool. So, looks like you might need to put the bottom one in first to make it easy to go on. All right, and then this is pretty easy. On this bracket right here, you have this long piece and you just connect the two together. All right, so for the bags themselves, you've got two hooks down here that you just lay over the top of this, press it on, and it clips here. These are keyed. Uh, this is GB's mono key system. So that can open and release. Put on the bottom brackets and then push. 
and now you've got your soft luggage attached to the back. Now for the bags themselves, quality seems really good. Um, I've never bought anything from GV before, but um, I'm impressed with the, the starting quality of it. Really paid attention to detail here. On these straps, there's a secondary lock mechanism here so that your straps don't accidentally come loose. Lock that piece down and that strap's not gonna move. So you can really cinch this down, lock it in place, and you'll be secure. It is a roll down bag with a really nice bright interior so you can really see inside of there. And this bag does come out so you can load up your stuff, pull the bag out, and take it in your tent or wherever it is that you're going. And then you can pack it back up, put it back in here, secure it in place. Roll it up, strap down, and you're ready to roll. Uh, there's this really cool uh, removable pouch here in the front too where you can strap additional things that goes all the way through on both sides. So if you have a roll or something in there that you want to strap in, you can add to it that way. Anyway, I'm really impressed with the, um, the build quality. First impressions are good. Uh, I have a camping trip planned next weekend, so I'll be able to put all this stuff through the paces and see how it goes. But I'm very optimistic and excited to have additional storage space for the trips. So check out the GV Canyon and uh, let me know what you think. If you have these bags or uh, have used something similar, go ahead and post up in the comments and let me know how your experience was. Uh, maybe give me a heads up what it is I'm looking, looking forward to here, but um, I think it's going to go really well. I will definitely let you know how it all packs in on the first trip. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Like I said, leave a note in the comments about what you think about these bags if you've had them before. If you have something that you like better, uh, let me know what, the, what that is. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the road. Keep the shiny side up.